Hello friends, uh, today is February 14th, 2020, and today I'd love to share with you a project that I've been working on all week, and I just figured out the last part yesterday. It is this guy right here, a table saw and a router combo. I used to keep the router right there, and it would get very dirty, and it was difficult to navigate. Well, and I had space next to the table saw and thought, why don't I just combine these two and free up here? And I'd love to show you what I did, if you'd like to see. Now here's a place where it would be good to have a before picture. This area here used to be this. It's just an old particle board surface. And I thought I could put this to much better use. So I popped this off, which left the frame and it made it a lot easier, too, than I thought it was going to be. I took the legs off the router table, and here you see the frame. I had to build these two parts. All I had to do was raise up the table saw just a couple of centimeters so it would be somewhat flush. And then I built this cage around the table so the table doesn't go anywhere. And there are also a few things that are very handy to be able to get under here to do. The router had a switch built into the table to turn it on. I detached the switch and just inserted it into this box here. It's pretty cool. I gotta put a box under here for shavings. Uh, it could be a little bit tidier. This is my uh, my crosscut sled, and I just leaned it against this one board here when I wasn't using it. And the vibration of the tools would knock this on the ground and it would, it would scare the crap out of me. So I drilled two holes in the sled and put two guides on the table itself to hold it in place which was so simple, I should have thought of it a long time ago. But a lot of those types of ideas are coming to light right now. I'd say the part that I was most proud of out of this entire build is this fence. This table that I've built is a little, it's not even. The angles are not even. So this does not match up with that. So a singular fence uh, especially the one that came with this is not going to work. But I can use this fence with this, and I can bring it over to the router. I can use the fence with that. Let me show you the fence. The fence that came with the table saw, it wasn't great. Whenever I'd put it on the table saw and do work, it would creep from side to side because the clamp wasn't hard enough. So what I did was, this is the guts of a regular Harbor Freight clamp. I routed the inside of a piece of two by four so this fit in snugly. I attached the end of the fence that I had. I used that piece but I guess you could use any piece of metal with the curve at the end. That would work too. Something fun. The clamp had a hole drilled in it to attach the top part, but it didn't have a hole there. I bought a metal bit a while ago and it chewed through this delightfully. Now if, this, if you're going to be running things across this, you probably don't want to screw there. So these little parts here are uh, from a stick that came from uh, those reflectors that you can poke into the ground, and they, they have the reflectors on the top. And when I was a teenager, uh, I was in a band, and uh, uh, another band, uh, they drove around one night, and 
stole about 40 of these things from somewhere and stuck them in my front lawn. I saved all of the parts, and these are the sticks from the things that got stuck in my lawn when I was a teenager. Nostalgia. So that was the uh, short story of my new table saw and router combination. And as I was building the fence for that, I was thinking I could really use cool fences for this guy here and the drill press. So I'm going to try to think of something for that right now. Do you want to come along? Could be fun. Now these, these kind of tools here, I guess you could call them beginner's tools. Uh, they're certainly not professional grade, but they do what I need them to do. Most of these things come with these little helpers like this and they don't really help me very much I don't think they're very helpful tools at all so I save them I put them in a box what I want is I'd like a fence over this side because and Bernie wants a fence on that side too I usually use this to uh, Cut, cut thin strips when I don't feel like putting my life at risk using a table saw. I didn't know if the best way to do that would be to use a clamp in the same way that we did on the table saw. I'm thinking, yes, all we'll need is a small piece of wood routed on the top. Yeah, that'll work. I still have yesterday's bit in here, which will make our lives a little bit easier today. That's, that's nice when life's a little bit easier. I've marked out a spot on our board, which is about the center. It should work. It's time to use the new magical fence. Ah. Tight, like a tiger. I'm going to do this in steps so it doesn't uh, it doesn't destroy uh, my router or the bit. Raise it up another three or four twirls. Good. If you try to go in too deep, too fast, you burn your router out. I did that once. So I only need to go a little bit deeper than the clamp itself. So I should get the clamp. Let's see if that's the case. Yeah, best case scenario is that you don't have to uh, don't have to modify any of the clamps or anything. You know, maybe you'll think of a better idea sometime down the road. It's perfect. I guess uh, now we can do the same thing for the drill press. Cool. So this was our previous solution, and this thing has uh, worked pretty well uh, for a long time. Uh, now in terms of uh, using a clamp the same way we did with the other ones, I don't know if that's the best course of action. I am seeing these sliders here. I'm thinking maybe we can use those to our advantage. Maybe make something that you can tighten from the top. Something that you can tighten from the top. Tight, 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 tight. It was at that point in this project where I probably should have listened to my own advice. It may appear that I'm just sitting here in front of my workshop, but I'm actually inside an editing program right now. If you look down here, you will see this is where we are in this video right now. 
there's about 10 minutes edited out of about 40, 45 minutes. In the footage ahead, uh, there's about 34 minutes of unedited footage of me failing. And I asked myself whether I wanted to go through editing that stuff, uh, whether it would make for a good watching. Uh, so I looked down at that footage. I said, no thank you. Uh, with the snap of a finger, it is gone. It's a shame because there is some cool footage of me tapping a screw. Now we're going to move forward and I'm going to show you the successful fence that I made for the drill press. Oh, and watch this. Cool, huh? Okay, onward. Yesterday's attempt was valiant, but it proved fruitless. Uh, this is the design I came up with in the end. I routed out the middle of this. Uh, this is supposed to sit on the drill press. I threaded this bolt and that was to go underneath and then there's a nut that was supposed to tighten this up so the fence wouldn't go anywhere. I started uh, cutting these little things hoping they'd have something to do with it. I tried a washer to make this fit in there snugger. None of that worked. The idea that did work was as simple as this. One piece of wood, four washers, two bolts, and two wing nuts. Let me show you how it works. This is the state of it. When it's not in use, it can easily be put to the side. None of the parts will go missing. These two things, they fit right under there. First you put a washer. I mean, once you get it set up, it's easy. But the cool thing about this, this is, uh, you really only need to tighten one side and it's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> it was so simple. I really wish I didn't waste my time <sighs> with the other design. Well, that's about it for this time, friends. Apologies for the anticlimactic ending. Sometimes energy levels are up high and then they go down low. I was just about to create some uh, dust solutions for underneath the table saw. And as I was trying to record parts, I realized, wow, this is not interesting. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'd like to thank you for coming with me on this journey. We built a lot of fences today. We got a fence there. We got a fence there. And then we finished up with a fence there. I think that's pretty fantastic. As always, I'd love to thank all of my Patreon patrons. with all of you that I can continue making all this quality content. So, thank you all, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.